Now, once you understand how to register a new user and how to make a login system in your backend, let me show you how you can delete the user. Now, as you know, using the register route, you create a new user using login, you authenticate the user, and just out of that, let me show you how you can delete the user using the delete route. So, what I'm going to do is inside my router, I'm going to create a new endpoint to delete the user. So, I'm going to simply say here router dot delete. As you can see, I'm using here the HTTP method delete. This method is going to delete the existing user. So as a first argument, I'm going to specify here endpoint. So I'm going to specify here delete. So to delete the user, you need to pass this delete endpoint. Just after that, I'm going to pass here my controller. As you know, I don't have any controller to this route. So let me create that first. So inside my controller file right down here, I'm going to add here a command and say delete user controller. And just down here, I'm going to say exports dot delete is equal to and then I'm going to specify here request and response parameter and pass here an arrow function. Make sure this function is also asynchronous. So I'm going to pass here async. Just out of that, to this delete endpoint, I'm going to specify controller dot delete. Save this file. Back to the controller right down here. I'm going to make here try and catch block. So I'm going to say here try and catch. Inside this catch block, I'm going to specify error and specify here response.status. Status is going to be 500 and then I'm going to send a response as JSON. Inside this JSON, I'm going to pass an object and specify here error key and pass this system error. So I'm going to first say here error message and then I'm going to pass the default value. So I'm going to specify here error while deleting user. That's it. Just for that, I'm going to simply call await user schema and I'm going to call here a method find by id and delete. This method is going to find the user or you can say a document by the id and delete that. So I'm going to pass this method here and in the parenthesis here I'm going to pass my user id. So I'm going to say here request dot user id. I'm going to create a new property to this request object. Now when I make a request to this delete route, I'm going to create this new property and specify value to it. Now whenever you make a delete request, you need to make sure that the user is a valid authenticated user. Without authentication, you are not going to allow anyone to delete the user from the database. Only the user can delete their own account. When we make a request to this delete route, we're going to pass middleware first to this route and then call this controller. Just for now, just pass this parameter and then just down here, I'm going to say response dot JSON and in the parenthesis, I'm going to simply specify message MSG and in the double quote, I'm going to specify user deleted successfully. And now when you make a request to this delete route, you're going to get this response, but you're still going to have your user in your MongoDB database. Now what you need to do is you need to pass value to this user ID when you make a request to this delete route. So how can you do it? To do that, you need to use a middleware for that. So I'm going to create a middleware inside a dedicated folder. So inside the server folder right here, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name this folder middleware. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this folder. Inside this folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name that file auth.js. Just for that, I'm going to authenticate the user first and specify value to the user ID property. As you know, middleware is nothing but a simple function. So let me first create here a command and say, create a middleware. And just up here, let me first import the JWT token. So I'm gonna first see here, constant JWT is equal to require JWT wave token. And just after that, I'm gonna say here, constant auth is equal to and here I'm going to call request response parameter as well as I'm going to call here next. Next is going to pass this request to the next middleware. We already learned about middleware in the previous lecture. So I'm going to just simply create here a middleware called auth and just down here I'm going to simply export that. So I'm going to say here module dot exports is equal to auth and inside this middleware I'm going to say constant token is equal to and then I'm going to request the header token first to authenticate the user. So I'm going to say here 
request dot header and from the header i'm going to request for the token to authenticate the user we're going to check if the user is authenticated user or not if it is i'm going to store the token inside this variable so here i'm going to simply specify x access token i'm going to pass value to this header when we make a request to the delete drop that's upon you you can specify any string here just down here i'm going to say if if we don't have token then i'm going to return a response with the status code 406 and i'm going to specify here json and in the object i'm going to specify error i'm going to specify double quote and say no authentication token authorization denied so if you're not the authorized user you will get this error message as you know you need to specify a valid username and password and then with that you will get your token once you get your token you can pass that token whenever you make any request in your application if i want to make a delete request i need to pass that token inside my header and then i can delete the user so if the user is not authorized user i'm going to return this if statement otherwise i'm going to say here constant verified is equal to and then call here jwt object and then i'm going to call here a method verify using this verify method you're going to verify the authenticated user so you need to first specify here the token as you know we have the token inside this variable i'm going to specify here token and then as a second argument you need to specify your public secret key as you know we have the public secret key inside the config file so i'm going to just simply specify here process dot env dot jwt secret so i'm going to just simply first pass this token and then pass the secret key this statement is going to verify the user and store that in this variable so just down here i'm going to just validate this verified user first so i'm going to say here if we don't have anything inside this verified user then i'm going to return response with the status code 406 and then i'm going to return here a json object error and then i'm going to specify here in the double quote token verification failed and then you can specify here authorization denied now once you've done that just down here i'm going to simply create a property to this request object as you know with this middleware you can access this request object so just down here i'm going to simply say request dot user id is equal to verified dot id so i'm going to just access the id key of this verified variable inside that i have the document from that document i'm going to get the id and specify that to this user id oops i think i misspelled here i just misspelled this i here yeah that's all right now once i specify that just out of the statement i'm going to specify here next to move to the next middleware once we finish this middleware i'm going to move to the next middleware that is why i specify here next function so once i specify value to the user id you can notice i'm going to specify value to this user id variable with this middleware i'm going to first authenticate the user with these statements and then i'm going to specify value to this user id let me save this file and show you how you can use this middleware I'm going to open my controller and you can notice I have this controller here. Inside this, I have this delete controller. When you call this delete controller, before that, you need to specify your middleware. So as a second argument, I'm going to specify here auth middleware. So at the top, here I'm going to say constant auth is equal to, and then I'm going to require single code, then specify here middleware folder, and then I'm going to specify here auth. And as you know, I have my middleware inside this auth. So I'm going to specify here auth like this. So as a second argument, I'm going to specify middleware and then specify my controller. So when you make a delete request on this delete endpoint, it will first open the middleware, validate the user, and then move to this controller. As you know, inside my atlas, I have here a user. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open my postman testing tool and then I'm going to specify here endpoint delete. Then this is a type of delete HTTP method. So I'm going to specify here delete and then I'm going to specify none here inside a body and inside this header, I'm going to specify my access token. So to get the access token, I'm going to first make a login request. So I'm going to open my history first 
and then I'm going to open the login post and right here as you can see I have the body email and the password I'm going to make this post request on this login endpoint and when I make that I'm going to get this token I'm going to copy this token and then I'm going to open my delete endpoint with the HTTP method delete and then inside this header I'm going to specify here a variable called x access token you can notice I'm going to have this variable inside my middleware you can notice here with the header I'm going to pass the token to this variable x access token so I'm going to specify here x access token and the value is going to be the token so I'm going to paste here my token like this and then I'm going to click on the send button to make this request so I'm going to click on this send button when I click on it I'm going to get here a message user deleted successfully when I back to my atlas and refresh it you can notice I don't have any user inside my user collection this delete endpoint is going to delete my user now let me show you what if I try to make this request without this header if I click on the send button I'm gonna get an error message no authentication token authorization denied because I don't have any authentication token I'm not able to delete any user from my database you can't delete your user without your token so using this technique you can create a restricted route we're gonna learn that in the future lectures so I hope you understand how you can verify the user using access token and delete the user from the MongoDB database